This is treated wastewater on its way out of the Deer Island treatment plant. The plant is the second largest in the nation and is responsible for treating all of Boston's wastewater. People think wastewater, ugh, you know, that's not the best thing. But you know what? It actually has a very important role in society. The Boston Harbor used to be one of the dirtiest in the nation. But by court order in 1989, the Boston Harbor Project, led by the Massachusetts Water Resource Authority, spent $3.8 million to stop the pollution of the harbor and construct this treatment plant. Uh, the Boston Harbor Project is, we're not actually cleaning up Boston Harbor. What we're doing is we're preventing the pollution from getting to Boston Harbor and letting Mother Nature take its course and clean herself up. The Deer Island Treatment Plant serves 2.3 million people, or about 35% of Massachusetts population, and takes in the same amount of water that flows through the Charles River every single day. When wastewater enters the plant, it first goes through primary and secondary treatment, which uses gravity and beneficial bacteria to treat out solids. At that point, the clear water is chlorinated to eliminate pathogens, dechlorinated, and then set nine and a half miles away in a huge pipe into the harbor. The solids, or the waste, stay at the plant, where they are thickened and broken down in something called an anaerobic digester. Some of the waste is eventually turned into fertilizer. This process is a central part to why the Boston Harbor is now one of the cleanest in the nation. Life to the harbor is actually returning back to normal.